So I don't think it's any secret that this gal likes jeans and t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, I think for the most part, yeah, it's safe to say that that is a big majority of my wardrobe. Hey. With me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like Hey there fashion friends, welcome to today's episode. I'm very happy that you are here with me today. On today's episode, we are looking at 10 jeans and t-shirts outfits. So the reason why I think I love jeans and t-shirts is because I think that there is like a very casual, effortless element to them, to their style. However, I also think that there is so much transformation or there's so many options, so much diversity. I feel like it's just the clothes of the people, right? So yeah, I just, I, I think anybody can wear jeans and t-shirts. So because I talk about jeans and t-shirts a lot in my videos, I always feel like it's my go-to example because it's my go-to outfit. So I thought, hey, why don't I share 10 of my favorite jeans and t-shirts outfits that I have in my wardrobe right now. What's fun about this is I feel like it's a simple silhouette that everybody has in their wardrobe. So I feel like all of these looks can be translated into anybody else's wardrobe. But all right, I think I have expressed my case enough. Um, I think you guys get the point. I love jeans and t-shirts. So with that, let's get into these 10 different outfits. Okay, so outfit number one is my Chimela Selvage Denim. And this is in a light blue wash. These are a straight fit. And I got these a little bit oversized because I wanted them to be sort of slouchy. I love these jeans for that authentic jeans vibe more of like a gritty vibe, I feel like. For this outfit, I paired it with my Mountain Bow crew neck tee in army green. So I styled this by tucking the t-shirt into the jeans, then adding in a belt and my Saint and Sophia Cambridge blazer in black and topping it off with my Aloha's vegan can-can boot. So what I love about this outfit is there's a lot of little different elements, but very under the radar. So you kind of have the effortlessness of the jeans, but then pairing it with a more basic t-shirt, yet the t-shirt's very flattering. And then just kind of accentuating the waist with the belt, I brought in the blazer to add that bit of sophistication to the casualness of the look. And then bringing in the combat boot to kind of contrast the sophistication of the blazer, but also add a bit of edge to the whole entire look. Number two, we are starting off with the Everlane Authentic Stretch Skinny Jean in their ankle fit, and this is in dark indigo. The t-shirt that I paired these jeans with is my go-to All Saints V-neck men's t-shirt that I've had for a very long time. So why I paired these two together is the skinny jeans are very tight fitting, very form fitting, uh, very feminine. So I brought in the more oversized masculine fit of the men's t-shirt to kind of counteract the femininity of the jeans. I think this is such an effortless look and I feel like you could walk away with just a nice little tuck of the t-shirt with some flip flops and you'd have a great look. But for today, I did add in my go-to Citizens of Humanity Kayla white button up shirt, as well as that my Club Monaco Italian yarn cardigan that I have had for years and it's like my go-to cardigan and topping it off with my tree torn hockey boot high top sneakers. This is again, sort of a similar vibe of having the casualness of the t-shirt and jeans and then adding in a little bit of the sophistication with the button up shirt and the more sophisticated vibe of the cardigan, but both just being a little bit more, made a little bit more casual with opening up the button up and uh, having the cardigan open as well and having just those, um, the, di the dimension of those layers. Okay, outfit number three is my Citizens of Humanity Charlotte Jean. This is in color Obsidian, which is like a washed black. And this is a kind of straight slim fit. The t-shirt that I paired these with is my Mountain Bow crew neck t-shirt with black and white stripe. 
like I said before, love Mott & Bow's t-shirts, just super soft and just clingy and gauzy and just drape really nice. Because of that bold stripe, you could literally just do a little tuck of the t-shirt, throw some flip flops on or some sneakers and you have like a cool effortless look. But what I added for today's look is the Mott & Bow denim jacket with my silk scarf from roztaker.com, topping it off with my Sylvan New York Elmalsi apple leather boots. Oh yes. So what sort of inspired this look for me was that I felt like this was already a very chic, casual look, you know, very uh, French. I sort of was inspired by that. That's what brought in the little scarf. I wanted this to just go a little bit further on the femininity, femininity side. Um, I felt like if, you know, I could have put some sneakers with this or some sandals and it would have been a real cute outfit. But for me, I felt like if I wanted this to be an elevated look, adding in those more edgier boots was gonna do that for me. Outfit number four is going to be my Levi's 501s. These are my Star Wars limited edition ones that I snagged up a couple years ago. Um, and what's special about these is they do have like a little slight tapering in them. Uh, so I'm super obsessed. I paired this with my Everlane organic long sleeve crew neck t-shirt, kind of because I felt like the 501s sort of encompassed this sort of 90s vintage vibe. Like it, it, I kind of felt like I was channeling my inner Rachel from Friends. So that's why I thought, hmm, the white kind of shorter long sleeve fitted t-shirt was gonna be a real good choice. It was definitely, you know, channeling my Rachel with that. I didn't really wanna mess with that. I really wanted to um, just fully have that be the star. So all I did for this was just added in a few necklaces to add a little bit of texture to the shirt, keeping that kind of youthful and playful vibe with the Nike Air Force One crater sneaker. So outfit number five is my Everlane Super Straight Jeans. This is in their dark indigo. I paired this with Mott & Bow's crew neck striped t-shirt again, but in red this time. I kind of felt like this was a preppier vibe. So I wanted to kind of counteract that with some more edgier or youthful type pieces. So I paired this with a just good old gray zip hoodie and my Everlane Renew Channel jacket. Then just topping it off with a black belt and my Vagabond Tara boot. Although these aren't super contrasting in the sense that like they're all pretty casual pieces, but I think because you kind of encompass that again, like that more sophisticated um, preppier vibe, uh, you then add in like some femininity of belting real tight at the waist, cinching in the waist, but then adding a little bit of edge with the boots, with the, you know, flat form boots and that youthfulness of the hooded sweatshirt with the jacket. Number six is my boyish denim, the Ziggy Fit. Pair this with my Parks Projects cropped tee. So why I paired these two together is mainly for the fact that these are my super high-waisted jeans and uh, that's the only type of jean I like to wear with cropped t-shirts or cropped tops, uh, just to kind of keep that belly, belly in check. But I do love, again, I love that 90s vibe that it gives, but because this is a very youthful vibe in my opinion, I always think crop tops are very youthful in my opinion, because that's when you that's when you got the body to wear crop tops. So I paired this with uh, just a go-to blazer of mine from Everlane. Still, it was it's more of a casual, relaxed type blazer, and then still keeping a casual sense with the Tiva Gladiator sandal. Now, what I love about these sandals is these definitely encompass like a casual sort of mood, but I feel like they've got a little bit of edge about them, not too much like in a very understated, effortless way. So I think it's just the perfect little cherry on top to this look. All right, so outfit number seven starts off with the Everlane Authentic Stretch Skinny Jean in their regular fit. This is in color washed black. I paired this with my Obey t-shirt. I like to call this the misunderstood dog t-shirt. I paired these together because the jeans are very feminine, just very tight fitting, very form fitting. So I wanted to add in that sort of boyish, charm, that edginess of this t-shirt. But 
Like all the other looks, I didn't want to go too far over on this casual, youthful vibe because I always feel like then that just becomes predictable. And you know I don't like to be predictable. So I decided to pair it with my, my secondhand purchased Ralph Lauren blazer with my go-to tree torn hockey boot high top sneakers. So just all around creating, in my opinion, a very steezy outfit. You're not going over the top, but adding just a little bit of a smooth, smooth detail of the sophistication of the blazer. Outfit number eight is starting off with the G-Star 3D Arc Boyfriend Jeans. So I added in the Everlane double gauze button-up shirt, keeping it open with the buttons undone, and then layering on the Everlane drape trench and topping it off with, again, my Sylvan New York Amalsi apple leather high heel boots. Because I was wearing the lower rise jeans, um, I sometimes feel like it can make my legs look a little short. And so that's why I, I like to pair when I'm wearing pants low on my hips. I, I like to, if I can, wear something with a little bit more height. So pairing these with these heeled boots was perfect. But then I like to kind of keep that length to help elongate with the longer shirt and the longer trench and adding in that third layer to add some dimension to the look. Okay, outfit number nine is my mousy tapered skinny jean. Um, I think this is the mosky style. I paired this with my Club Monaco long sleeve crop tee. This has been one of my go-tos for a while. Like I've said, I really do like the simple just jeans and t-shirt look. So for this look, I really wanted to just keep that simple silhouette because I absolutely love the silhouette of this t-shirt. I love the kind of cropped boxy, um, well, I shouldn't say, I feel like this isn't like full crop. This is like, I, I think they should call them semi-crop. They're not full crop. So anyways, so I didn't want to cover that up as well as that I love these jeans too. So I really wanted the jeans to kind of stand out as well. So I just kept this real simple, adding in just that kind of steezy style of the Nike Hirachis because they're just one of my go-to pairs of sneakers. Just adding some effortless jewelry to add a little bit of shine. So the outfit isn't super flat, real simple, but again, effective, right? And outfit number 10 is my Everlane Authentic Stretch skinny boot cut jean in dark indigo. I've had these for a long time. These are my longest running authentic stretch jeans of theirs. And I've said it in the past, I'm absolutely obsessed with their authentic stretch because they keep, they keep that stretch and they keep it all locked up. I paired this with yet another Mountain Bow long sleeve V-neck t-shirt in color black. I love these jeans. I love their silhouette of the skinny boot cut. So I don't really want to conflict with that at all. Um, but because there is more volume at the bottom, I wanted to add a little bit more volume at the top with the longer, more textured cardigan. So that is why I paired it with the Everlane oversized alpaca cardigan. I also wanted to add in just a little bit of shine. So I just popped on a necklace with this as well to kind of just add a little bit of pop to the black t-shirt and just topping it off with my Tiva gladiator sandal. I just feel like it's effortless because these jeans sort of stand on their own stylistically. I like to then add in just more basic understated pieces that can let the jeans be the showpiece. All right, my friends, that is it for the 10 jeans and t-shirts outfits for today. Yes, comment below and let me know what your favorite look was here today. What I will say about these looks is that a lot of the pieces that I used here today, some are very old. I've had for years and years and years. Some are very recent. Some are still available and some are not. So if you are interested in these pieces, I will link everything down below. If the pieces are not available anymore, I'll try to find alternatives that I can uh, suggest. But as well as that, I think most of these pieces, you probably already have a version in your closet. So I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm gonna ask you to do next. If you did like today's episode, give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends, and subscribe for future weekly episodes if you have not already. And if you have, click that bell so that you're notified when I post my new episodes. You don't wanna miss out on this face. I hope that you have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. I really hope that everybody is staying safe, staying healthy out there. Please love and support each other in these crazy, crazy times. All right, you guys, we'll be chatting soon. Bye.